Storm Trucker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back, everyone. We did have some beautiful weather today as we had a lot of sunshine this morning. Then we have had increasing clouds throughout the afternoon and so far this evening on the Opportunity Bank iCam. We also had seasonable temperatures today with highs in the 40s and the lower 50s in most locations. Right now we are in the mid to upper 30s and low to mid 40s. The wind also was not an issue today. Still a little bit breezy in some locations, but the wind today was a lot weaker than it has been over the past few days. And in most locations, we just have a light breeze right now. Outside of a couple of rain and sun showers in northeastern Montana, the entire state has been dry today. Day, but you'll notice that the cloud cover is increasing right now in central and western Montana. That increase in cloud cover is associated with a disturbance that is currently working its way into the Pacific Northwest. That disturbance will work its way through Montana as we go through tomorrow. So there will be some precipitation tomorrow, but most of that will remain in the Rockies and in locations west of the Rockies, so in western Montana. East of the Rockies, most locations are going to remain dry. As we go through this evening and early tonight, just a few rain and sun showers in northeastern Montana. The rest of the state will continue to be dry and we'll have increasing clouds from west to east as we go through tonight. During the second half of tonight, that's when some precipitation will start to work its way into western Montana. Then for tomorrow, we are going to have mostly to partly cloudy skies with decreasing cloud cover during the afternoon and the evening. Again, there will be some snow and rain in the Rockies and in western Montana, but east of the Rockies, most of us will remain dry. Just a few isolated rain and snow showers. Heading into tomorrow night, we are going to have mostly clear skies and outside of a little bit of snow in the Rockies, most locations will remain dry. And then as we head into Saturday, that's when the next storm system is going to impact our area. So we are going to have partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. And once again, east of the Rockies, a few isolated rain and sun showers are possible, but most of us will remain dry. In the Rockies and in western Montana, that's where there will be some snow and rain throughout the day on Saturday with a good amount of snow accumulation expected in Glacier National Park. We did get a break from the wind today, and that break from the wind will continue tonight. But as we head into tomorrow, that's when the wind is going to begin to increase once again. And it will be breezy in some areas with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Wind gusts over 30 miles per hour are going to be possible at times. Heading into tomorrow night, the wind will continue to be an issue in the higher elevations and along the Rocky Mountain front, as well as in some of the adjacent plains. And then Saturday, we are going to have increasing wind throughout the day, and it is going to be very windy, especially Saturday afternoon and evening in most areas. The one exception will be the valleys. That's where the wind is going to be a little bit weaker. But in the plains, in the mountains, in the canyons, sustained wind speeds are going to be between 15 and 40 miles per hour. Wind gusts over 50 miles per hour are going to be possible at times. That strong wind will continue into Saturday night, but then we will have decreasing wind during the second half of Saturday night. And on Sunday, it will be a bit breezy, but the wind will be a lot weaker than it will be on Saturday. There is a high wind watch in effect for much of central and north central Montana for a good chunk of Saturday through early Sunday morning as these locations have the best chance to see some wind gusts approaching 60, even 65 miles per hour at times. Lows tonight are going to be in the mid to upper 20s and low to mid 30s. Tomorrow, high temperatures are going to be in the 40s in most locations. Temperatures start to warm up this weekend and then highs next week will be in the 50s on most days.